Hey battle face, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is Thursday morning. It is Thursday morning. It is 10.21 in the morning, and I'm just getting up. Uh, well, okay, I'm not just getting up. I'm, I've, <clears throat> I've been up for like 30, 45 minutes just playing around like with the settings on my phone, trying to figure out what it is that I need to do today. Um, playing around with the settings on my camera as well because I'm trying to get both of my cameras. Just seeing if I can do anything new. Let me know if you guys like these settings. I don't know if you know any, like if you can see the difference. I feel like I can kind of see a difference. I'm thinking I'm liking this a little bit more. Instead of being in like auto or scene, I'm actually in the video shooting mode. And I think I'm liking that better. I'm thinking I'm liking that a lot better. As far as my camera, I was trying to play around with the settings because I'm trying to get my pictures a little bit more crisp. And then when I do have to vlog with my camera, having that being a little bit more crisp as well. And I'm doing all this because, y'all, so I have the G7X Mark II. This is completely irrelevant as to what this vlog is about. Anywho, I have the G7X Mark II. And I've had this camera since 2018. It has since been through some things and I mean, it still works perfectly fine. The flip up lens tends to get loose because those screws kind of fall out. So you'll have to like find a kit in order to like either, if you lose the, if you lose the screw, you have to find the screw. It's hard to find it. I was able to find them on eBay with the little bitty, um, screwdriver to screw the screw back in so that's a problem the rubber pieces on the camera that um that you that you're supposed to hold on to i wish i could show you guys that tends to come out after a while and like you'll have to tuck it in but i think mine's is now just it's just beyond being tucked in again at this point so i'm thinking about just getting the cover for it and letting it be that because i mean i got some scratches and stuff but other than that it's fine but the issue is I wanted to repurchase this camera. Actually, I wanted to repurchase the Mark III because, I mean, I felt like it was time for a new camera. And apparently, since I bought this, since I've since buying this camera, it's become a little bit more popular because at the time, that Sony ZV-1, that was the one. That was the one that was popular. That was the one that everybody wanted. You couldn't buy that one anywhere. And all of a sudden, I guess maybe this camera somehow went viral on TikTok. And, um... Now everybody wants it, so it's gone everywhere. It's it's just gone. So I'm just trying to make do with what I have since I won't be getting the new camera that I want. So I'm just trying to try something new with this. Maybe I can just revive this camera that I already have because again, it's perfectly fine. It's just playing around with my settings and actually getting to know it and then it doesn't look the best. It looks like it's been through some things. So yeah. Um, so hopefully you guys like those settings. This is like the long way for me to say, I am messing around with my camera and I hope you guys like it anyway. Now, as to what this vlog is going to be about. So y'all, I work um, this weekend. So today's Thursday, I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you don't know, I am a nurse, an LPN gone respiratory therapist. So I still hold my license, I'm still an LPN, but I recently became a respiratory therapist and I think I like this job so much more. I think I like the job so much more. Obviously, I'm in the military, so as far as the pay, there's no difference for me. But I was looking around and I do see that respiratory therapists make a little bit less than nurses, but it's still good money to be made as a respiratory therapist. Um, I do still plan to get my RN. I talked about that in some past vlogs. I am currently applying for um, nursing school because I, I mean, I like being a nurse too. Um, I want both. I want both options. And so, yeah, I mean, it honestly, this whole thing just kind of fell into my lap because I want to be a nurse. But my issue is I did not like being an LPN in the military. I didn't want, I did not like being an army LPN. I have to be completely honest when I say a lot of those nurses they weren't nice to LPNs or medics in the hospital. They're not nice to us at all. Um, they talk down to you. They speak horribly about you. It's just, no, I didn't want it. I feel like I've been in the army too long and I do my job as well as I can to be disrespected and I just wasn't putting up with it. And the same with medics. Y'all need to stop letting them do y'all like that because 
they was doing y'all worse than us. Um, nurses respect your RTs, respect your medics, respect your LPNs, period. Anyway, um, I was going to get out of the military and they offered a new position. They said, hey, you can reclass. We really need um, respiratory therapists right now. We need 68 victors. Oh, and you can get a degree and a big ass bonus to go with it. And I was like, okay, all right. Bonus wasn't that big at the time. I went back in just to see what was going on, just to see what options were out there before I officially decided to get out and boom, they had a $52,000 bonus. I don't know about y'all, but for me, that's life changing money. I went for it. So here I am working back in the same place at the same hospital as a respiratory therapist. And I like it a lot more. So the hospital I'm working in, this is the same hospital I worked in back when I was a nurse, hated it. I hated my life. Every single day I came home as a nurse, I hated it. As a respiratory therapist, this is cake. I still work hard, don't get me wrong. I still work hard. The job is just more fulfilling. I get to do more of the exciting things that I thought I was gonna to get to do as a nurse, as a respiratory therapist. So, I am working three 12s over the weekend. It's my weekend to work Monday, uh, Monday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and so I need to get ready. Um, I was off for the past two days. We're on a Panama schedule. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up because i honestly still don't even know what it is <laughs> but yeah um on the to-do list today though is i really want to clean a little bit i want to get some cleaning and stuff done that way when i am coming home over the weekend i'm not feeling like i need to clean because obviously you know who wants to clean after working a 12-hour shift um i want to go and get my nails done okay first of all i gotta clean a house and i also gotta clean my car after I cleaned my car, I wanted to go and get my nails done. While I'm getting my nails done though, I don't have my washing machine and dryer just yet. Trey has it out in Louisiana and so he's going to be coming to visit me and he's going to bring it out with him when he comes. So I'm still going back and forth to laundromat so I have to get my sheets and stuff like that and a few clothes, a few loads so I can go ahead and take that to the laundromat. And while that's doing that is when I'm going to go and get my nails done and come back home sit study and like edit vlog do all that good stuff that i actually you know kind of like to do so yeah this was just my intro my very long intro my eight minute intro i'm sorry please don't skip it i need all the watch time and all that good stuff oh by the way can y'all like this video i feel like i need to start asking you guys to like my videos and and you will you know what I'm saying? Like if I ask nicely, I feel like you will. As well as subscribing. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I'm pretty sure you'll find something entertaining here. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not that person that's traveling all over the place. I'm not that person that's in the club partying and doing this. And the, Look y'all, I am a married mother with a career. I'm in the military and I'm also a student. I'm going to school and I'm honestly in my 30s now. I am 31 years old. So I just be showing y'all what my life is like now. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy life and everything. It's fun. Um, but yeah, I don't. I'm just regular. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm about to sit here and rant, but let me go ahead and get up so I can start cleaning a little bit. I haven't gotten up yet because I don't have on pants. I didn't sleep in pants last night and I don't have on underwear either and I don't want y'all to see that. So let's start cleaning this house a little bit. Oh, you're trying to leave. 
that I should start by saying, yeah. So I just finished cleaning downstairs. I just moved on to upstairs. And so I have just a bunch of garbage. Not, it's not even garbage, honestly. Um, it's just a bunch of stuff that I need to unpack, open up put away stuff like that so all this stuff over here i recently bought a bunch of this stuff and honestly it's kind of just been here oh my gosh i just ran from downstairs mm. it's kind of just been here so i'm about to go ahead and finally unpack this stuff and put it away i bought these ralph lauren earrings for my uniform these little things here and they're actually really cute but i kind of wish i would have got the smaller ones but I'm going to sit those up here because I need to put those, pack those with my uniform because I keep my uniform in a card just in case I need to put it on. Because as of lately, I haven't really been wearing my uniform because I'm in scrubs. Anyway, okay, so this is my Michael Kors purse. I recently bought this one and I wanted this because of the color. And how cute is that? I wanted this because of the color. And then because of the size, it's so cute. And I have like all these little details and stuff. It's perfect. When I went to see Trey last week, I actually bought this because I was thinking I'm going to, um, I wanted to, I had outfits planned around this, but because I didn't want to pay all the extra money for like extra carry on and all that and extra bags. Cause Frontier was kind of difficult. I just decided to leave it and then carry my, um, my RC bag and I just threw everything in there. And then I just used that. But the next bag that I bought, Trey don't know about this one yet. Y'all, how cute is this? How cute is this purse right now? And I'm so glad that I got this color because um, first of all, I spend money. But I feel like I, I spend money, but I feel like I spend my money strategically okay with intention when i first saw it it was the regular price and i'm like okay I, I i just i just can't explain or justify why that's necessary right and so i'm like all right we don't need it right now and then um i was looking at other stores and it was a little bit cheaper unfortunately the px didn't do price matching so i'm like all right no i'm not gonna do it and then i didn't go to the other stores to buy it because obviously i'm paying taxes now so again it still didn't make sense it went on sale and I was looking at it and I'm like, okay, it's saying that it's already on sale and then you get an additional 20% off. So as of right now, this purse is around 160, 170 at the other stores. I got it for 130. So when they did that, I'm like, yes, let's do it. So I got this purse. So because I got this, y'all. Um, I got this as well oh my god okay okay so the thing is right the thing is i just love this so much and the thing i needed this like i actually needed this i have a few little wallet things the only thing that i don't like is that it don't open all the way up i like my stuff to like sandwich like sandwich clothes like i like it to open all the way up but this is fine for what i need it for because i just need something to carry my cards and stuff in and i wanted something that was small like small that actually closed because a bunch of the so the ones that i have i have another michael actually i feel like every last one of these i have is michael kors i just like it i just like michael kors a lot i love the way their stuff feel i love the way it smell i love the quality of it it lasts so long i just love it so much um i actually use i have one louis vuitton purse and i actually use my michael kors bags and then that random black bag that i have over there from ross i use these more than my louis vuitton bag so i'm just saying anyway um i just thought that was so cute because and then this was on sale too obviously this is like 50 dollars, but it doesn't matter guys it doesn't matter because look look this is so cute 
together and i could just throw this wait i got stuff i still got the paper in there i can just throw this in there <sighs> this is cute okay i feel and usually when i spend a lot of money on stuff i have buyer's remorse almost immediately especially if it's one of those things that i'm like eh, why not i'll just buy it because i kind of want it or i can think of at some point when i'm going to be able to use it i was 100 percent okay with this purchase because i know exactly when i'm going to use it i know how often i'm going to be able to use it i just love it so that's that then y'all so that perfume that i was talking about right remember the pink one i ended up accidentally buying a second burberry her the green one y'all i finally found the pink one and it was in a gift set it was in a gift set and i was so excited i'm sorry i'm talking loud <laughs> it was in a gift set and i was so excited about it being in a gift set because y'all know how i feel i talk all the time about if i buy a perfume and they have a gift set nine times out of ten i'm going to get the gift set because it's just a good like i want to say the perfume by itself for this size was 142 at the px this whole thing together was 148 so i'm so i was super excited about that i gotta add that to the collection and yes trey knows about this one so he knows i've been looking for this perfume so he was okay with this so i bought some socks that i actually need to try out because i don't know if you guys are aware but i don't wear socks yes some people say oh my gosh that's so disgusting it can be especially when your shoes get wet and your feet are like smelly and stinky and sweaty and you have to throw your shoes away and repurchase them yes but some shoes i buy my I buy a certain type of shoe that feel a certain type of way because I just don't like to wear socks sometimes, especially when the socks are really, really bulky because y'all, I have issues with my feet. Anyway, now that I have, I mean, I've been wearing socks now. Where are the socks? I, you know the long Nike socks? Um, these. So I've been wearing these and I've been doing so good with those. So, I mean, I'm wearing socks now, but I bought these just to try them out to see how they do they feel they felt good in the store so i bought these so hopefully that just wasn't a fluke and i end up having to return these but so far i got some socks and y'all i bought some shoes so i bought um where so i bought these cloud tech foams right and these so far are my favorites i love these things so much because they feel so good and um it it's almost as if it holds my arch up i know people say this stuff about a bunch of different shoes but i really like these when i went to the store i specifically asked them i said you know i'm just looking for something that's really comfortable um i don't it don't even need to look good because y'all when i say when i started these um 12 hour shifts my feet were killing me and i'm pretty sure it was because of my shoes and so i'm like i don't care what brain it is i don't care what it looks like i don't care i just need some shoes that are comfortable and then they're like oh well there's a bunch of different people like if you're working in a hospital if you're working you know long shifts a lot of people come in for these and i'm like all right i'll try it had no ideas i, I wouldn't even lie i thought these were <laughs> i thought these were hokas Hok hokas or something like that because she was like throwing out all these different names at one time and so then she said hokas and then she's like, people come in a lot for these. And so I'm thinking when she said, oh, yeah, and then there's hokas. And she picked up a pair because people come in a lot for these. What would you think? And so I'm like, Are that, is that like a new style of hoka, 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 hookah, however the hell you say it? I'm like, is that a different like style that I don't know about? Because I thought it had the word on the shoe. I just went with it, y'all. Got these. I love them so much. I started researching, trying to look for more pair, and I couldn't find it because your girl typing in hook it is, hook it at, hook a hook a gray shoe with the blah 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 cloud tech blah blah blah. Only to come to find out, you know, the cloud tech that that's the brand. So I finally found them, and so I really really love these. So I went and I bought. I wanted more um of that specific cloud tech foam um style or whatever but couldn't find them in my size and in stock but i went and got these so i got these yesterday 
and how cute are those and i'm gonna be completely honest i only got these because i like the way they look they're comfortable and everything don't get me wrong they're still really comfortable but rarely do i buy a shoe for myself because i wear heels and stuff so rarely do i buy a shoe that i buy because i'm like damn that looks nice that looks good i'm gonna buy it i don't do that i buy heels trey buys my shoes but i bought these myself <laughs> and look how good those look and they look so good on so i'm super happy about that which is another reason i had to buy the socks um i bought i bought three pairs so those are one pair i also got these so those are the monsters the cloud the cloud tech cloud monsters these are the cloud swift three and i like these as well they feel so so good and for me these so these are size seven i got those in a size six and a half i got my the ones that i've been had in a size six and a half so it just depends you have to actually go and try on the different styles because yeah it's, it's different but i really like these a lot and then um what are these uh, just this nice taupe tan color super flattering super comfortable with my green scrubs my burgundy scrubs and then that um caribbean color that i have these are gonna look so good and they just those things are those 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 are nice they came with i think extra laces yeah laces anywho that's it um i'm kind of wasting time now so i'm about to go ahead and start cleaning so i can go and move on to cleaning my car and move on to getting everything else with the day done so i can come home and sit down hey y'all what's up it is about a few hours later like maybe one or two hours later two hours later and i have since finished cleaning i honestly didn't film much more after like the last clip because um i was trying to speed through cleaning i didn't get everything the other bathroom i still need to clean because that's why i just took a bath but other than that everything is pretty much done this is the bedroom don't mind this stuff right here because I'm coming right back home to put that on after I come back from getting my toes and fingers done. But I vacuumed. Everything is clean. Everything is refreshed. Um, again, the bed's not fixed. I have to go and wash my sheet. So I still have to do that. I just finished filming a TikTok and reel. And I finally put my perfume over here. Y'all, I'm getting a bunch of requests on like Instagram and stuff to go through this collection but it's not like i don't know i don't know because i'm not what exactly are you guys looking for when you say go through the collection what are you looking for are you wanting me to like tell you about like the fragrance fragrances or whatever the case may be i'm not sure i just have a collection because i'm really into um, fragrances and stuff like that I, yeah i don't know so just let me know what you want and i can do that for you wait i went up Blech. I ended up taking a bath and I just threw on um this outfit is honestly nothing it is hold on let me set this down I have on this black tank top um where did I get this from I don't even know where I got this from but this black tank top with these um leggings that I got from Shein I think these came from Shein I love these leggings so much. Like I know I got like my body is nice and, and whatnot, but when I say these leggings, just it just do it for me, you know. And I'm honestly thinking I want to roll this in because it's just not looking right. Um, sitting the way it's sitting. If I had boobs, it would be a different story. So I have that on as well as this um, cropped. Um, what is this? A cropped hoodie, zip up hoodie. And I am going to be carrying my Michael Kors bag. And that's about it. I'm trying to see. Um, oh, my shoes. I don't know. Let me run downstairs real quick. So as far as my shoes, I'm probably just going to put on either my got this garbage bag. Either my clogs. Or the sandals that I have in this closet down here. Hi, baby. You want to sit right there on the stairs. I'm gonna set this here. I gotta put that in the trash bin outside. I got my sheets over there that I gotta take to the laundry. Um, shoes. 
it is so uh, let's look at this how nice and clean is it in here I still have my stuff sitting over here because that's everything that I'm going to be putting back into my work bag. So I just got to sort through a bunch of this stuff to see what it is that I'm going to need, especially for tomorrow. So that stays there. Other than that, everything else is pretty dang clean. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. See, this I can come home to this. So I'm in a car and I'm about to just go ahead and... Um, get the trash out because i don't know if y'all can see this but y'all this is what my passenger seat floor is looking like and that's what happens after a long week of just going to work doing what i gotta do blah 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 all that stuff and then the back is just a little bit unorganized there's not much trash back there but like my uniform is supposed to be in the trunk so i just have to um clear this stuff out organize a little bit and then the car wash is literally right off po like I'm technically off post, but I'm on post. This is a housing community, so. Oh, I thought she was looking at something. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this, throw everything in the trash, and then go and wash my car real quick, vacuum out the inside, and then go and try to get my nails done. My problem today is I keep feeling like it is Sunday. It is not Sunday, it's Thursday. And so I am keep thinking like, oh my God, everything is gonna be you know closed early and blah, blah no it's thursday i have to remember i'm not on a regular schedule anymore so that was my issue thinking that everything was going to close really soon no it's not I got, I got a good seven hours left to do a lot of this stuff only problem is i don't want to be out for that long because again i want to come back and kind of relax a little bit so let me go ahead and start cleaning all this stuff up start cleaning all this stuff up and um Go to the car wash y'all look at sam now she probably don't think that i'm right here let me see what she does when i open the door what are you doing yeah what are you doing she knows she's not supposed to be outside right now because she's going to run away and not come back and then i'm going to be up all night worried about her hey, mamas. there she goes i see I don't want to play this game with her tonight. So I just finished cleaning out my car just a little bit and I'm about to be pulling up to the car wash. But tell me why. Oh, that must have been my cup. Tell me why. It's just now hitting me that I have not eaten anything all day. Like all day. I haven't even had a crumb. I have not eaten anything at all all day. No wonder why I'm low-key getting like a little migraine, a little headache. I'm like starving and i'm like i have not eaten i have not even drinking water today and it's 4 20. what is wrong with me so now i'm about to go ahead and wash my car do all that stuff and go grab something to eat before <laughs> before i get my nails done y'all that's insane i did not realize
say I got a little carried away because it is past 5 30 hold on y'all I'm about to grab some food hi can I get a large matcha latte on ice with light ice and eight scoops of the matcha so you said a large matcha latte with less ice and three scoops of the matcha eight gotcha y'all hold on let me get this food real quick where's my card <clears throat> I spent a long time cleaning my car, so it's about to be six, and I need to find a place to get my freaking nails done. Anyway, what was I saying? I spent too much time cleaning my car, but I'm glad I did because when I say it is so clean in here, it looks so good, it smells so good. Like this is a whole new car, y'all. I even cleaned my freaking tires, and I haven't cleaned my car, like really deeply cleaned my car like this in months months and if you know me you know I love cleaning my car so I don't even know why I let it let that much time go by without me like actually really detailing it really cleaning it because ugh, it looks so much better it looks so it looks so good uh, no thank you thank you girl I just cleaned it <laughs> yeah she said my car smelled good <laughs> I don't know what's up with this, but why can I barely taste the matcha in this? It's so good though. But I'm about to eat this real quick and then take my butt to this nail shop. Hopefully they can um, do what I want them to do and they're not gonna be rushing because I have the dip powder, but the last place I went to made it really thick. Um, so I was gonna try a new place today. I guess I'm still trying a new place today. I want them to soak this off though. I don't want them to freaking like try to peel it off or anything and actually break my nails because these are my real nails that I'm trying to grow out with the dip powder. So I'm wanting them to actually soak it, take it off, and then just give me another, I guess, dip set, whatever you call it. Um, and depending on what they have time for, I might not get my toes done today because they still look okay. I can last another week, but for sure I want my nails done because this is just really bulky and it's getting caught on every little frayed thing, like even my hair. So. I'm about to go and do that, and then I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. So I just pulled up to Food Lion because I want to see if I can grab like some fruit or something to pack for. Um, tomorrow my lips are dry. I want to see if I can get some fruit or something to pack for tomorrow to be honest I never really as of right now. I don't know what it is that I'm wanting to um, Pack for lunch like I need to get like a routine I need to get some go-to meals stuff like that. I need to start meal prepping. There's a bunch of different things I have to do but I don't really eat like that at work anyway, but what I wanna do is I wanna grab some snacks because I do feel like if I have like some fruit or something, at least it'll stop me from going to the vending machine so often and then ultimately kind of throwing myself into a mini little binge purge cycle because the thing is, and I know y'all, I keep talking about like my eating disorder, but just understand it consumes my life. It does. So. 
if I eat too much or the wrong thing at work, I will be binging and I will be purging at work in secret, making sure, working so hard to make sure nobody notices. Like my eyes and stuff be red. Like I be busting blood vessels in my eyes, trying to hurry up and do it, like be done real quick. So hopefully if I can get some fruit or something like that, that'll kind of help. So I'm about to run into food line and then go home and finish getting ready for work. It is 7.49 right now. So obviously I've been out a little bit longer than I would have liked to. But y'all, my nails, I did something different. I did something different. Now I've always gotten like the nude colors on my nails and white on my toes 100% all the way. Y'all look what I did. I went and got like this burgundy. You can't even see it. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. But I went and got this deep burgundy color on my fingers and my toes and it is beautiful. Like this is beautiful. I haven't had color on my nails in I don't know how long and I am obsessed right now. But let me stop playing games. Let me hurry up and go in here so I can grab these few things and then go home. And um, I think I'm just gonna study a little bit. Not, not necessarily, I'm not gonna edit. I'm not gonna edit tonight. I'm gonna study just a little bit, go with some practice questions for the TMC, um, get everything ready, like lay the scrubs out and stuff that I wanna wear to work and then be done because y'all i didn't even make it to the laundromat your girl is sleeping on a couch again but i'll see y'all when i get home So I um, just got back from the store and everything. Just got back from, um, what was that, food line? Anyway, if it's not one thing, it's another. I feel like my freaking charger to, I feel like the charger to this camera is not working correctly um, because one, it's taking so long to charge my batteries. I have two batteries for this camera. I bought an extra one and I feel like, why is she just coming here and just chilling? Sam, you big chilling? You big chilling? What is this in your eye? Come here, let me see. Oh, ew, gross, a booger. Anywho, um, yeah, I just got back and I was looking at the freaking battery that I was charging all day and it looked like it hadn't charged at all. But when I look close, it's like the, the light that says full on the battery um, charger it's like flashing just a little bit. And so I'm thinking the battery, I obviously I switched them so the battery's charged now. But yeah, that's it's supposed to be completely green and the orange light is supposed to be off. So I don't know what's going on with that. So hopefully that, you know, keeps trucking for a little bit longer because ain't nobody trying to buy no new camera right now. I guess the best case scenario is only having to replace the charger and not the whole camera, but whatever. I left my freaking tripod my handheld um manfrotto tripod in a car all three of them i don't know why um but yeah i i just gotta get situated it's about to be nine o'clock and i'm still not settled down like i said i just walked through the door but i wanted to show y'all my nails because they're so cute it's been so long look at that hold on it's been so long since I've had, y'all, I'm gonna show that a hand with the ring because we all know I like to show that thing off. But it's been so long since I've had color on my nails. Like, like I am dying right now. Like that is so pretty to me. Maybe because I haven't seen color on my nails in so long, but I am obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. I'm liking that a lot. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Who do I think I am? I don't know, but I'm her. <laughs> Y'all probably can't even see it. Oh, jeez, I'm falling. But I got the same color on my toes, and it just looks so good. Like, it's not doing me any justice on this camera, but I'm telling you right now, y'all, like these, they look so good. They look so good. I'm used to getting white all the time on my toes like white 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 every single time if i walk in there and i don't have my mind made up already it's white so to have a different color is just it's just crazy it's so crazy um anyway what are we up here for we are up here because i gotta pick out what scrubs i'm wearing tomorrow tomorrow's friday so i am going to wear 
the blue ones. So, as far as my scrubs, I'm going to go ahead and throw um, these on tomorrow. This is actually one of my favorite pair. It's the one with the long sleeves, obviously, because it's always really cold in the hospital. Hold on, y'all. It's always super cold in the hospital. And that's honestly why I ended up investing in more of these Landau's. Because I just like the first pair. This was the first pair I bought and I just liked it so much that I bought a bunch more. It's warm enough. It's perfect. I like this. Um, as far as my um, top jacket that I'm wearing tomorrow. I have my coat in the car already. But for what I'm wearing while I'm in the hospital... It's going to be this. Y'all, I need to wash um, one of the newer pair of scrubs that I got, the burgundy color, because look at how it's turning my jacket burgundy. <laughs> it's not, like, you can see it on the inside. Like, you can see it kind of here, but good thing you can't see it on the outside. But, yeah, I got to wash that thing. Got to wash those scrubs. So, I'm going to wear that jacket with those um, those scrubs. These shoes. Um, let's see. Actually, I want to try these socks on again. Because like I said, when I tried them on, oh man. Because there was an open pair and so obviously I tried one on in the store and they fit. They felt like they felt good and they fit good or whatever. Oh, shoot. Oh, snap. Wait a second. Right. Each of these are two pair of socks and I did not know that. That is so many pair of socks right now. Hold on. What? Oh, shoot. I didn't, I didn't know that. I thought it was just these two was a pair. But I'm I'm happy, you know. I feel like my money was well spent. One of the other issues that I have with wearing socks is they never stay like in place where they're supposed to stay. Can y'all see me? They never stay where they're supposed to stay. Um <clears throat> like they always slip down in my shoe. And I hate that so much. Like that's one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves is when my socks slip down in my shoe, and so I just stop wearing them, honestly. I feel like that's where <clears throat> me not wearing socks honestly came from. These have that little um, clear part in the back right here, this part, that I can kind of feel and I don't know if I like that. <laughs> they look cute though, they look good. Uh, I'm about to walk that way all the way down the hall and see what happens and then come back. I think these are going to be fine and I'm purposely walking like hard and weird just to see if they slip down but they haven't slipped down yet I'm going to do it again yes these they stayed they stayed so I'm going to wear these socks tomorrow and not the long ones because I usually wear my long Nikes so I'll wear those tomorrow Yo, my arm is killing me. My arm is killing me right now. My arm is killing me. So I be feeling like this is a trick mirror. This is a trick mirror because look at this. Like, look at this. Ain't no way. Like, are you so, like, when y'all look at me, is this what I look like? Like, is like looking in this mirror, is this actually what I look like? Because there's no way. Like, I know I have a nice body, but mm, this mirror, I need somebody to come over here and look in this mirror and tell me if it's a trick. Because how? Where? What's happening? Because I feel like what I'm seeing here, I'm not seeing here. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know, y'all. Do I? 
Ain't no way I look this nice. Why y'all didn't Cause first of all. Anyway, next for getting ready for work is picking my scent. I know a lot of people say, oh no, you shouldn't wear scents to a hospital. I do. Um, when I am working around a certain demographic or in a certain position, I do. Like if I'm with a patient all day, um, that's like sensitive or whatever the case may be like patients and stuff that are like sensitive or really really sick then I don't wearing something that is very understated very like a light scent is in my opinion and that's perfectly fine now if I'm working around like um like neutropenic patients or very sensitive asthmatics or something like that then obviously i'm not going to like really be putting anything on but since my day-to-day -day is not that then i'm safe to wear these type of things right and even with that being said i still um just wear the the light the very light scented perfumes and stuff like that is never anything too heavy like i would never wear my love don't be shy i would never wear this to the hospital um which one? Oh, my Tom Ford. I would never wear this to the hospital, even though I feel like that's pretty, in my opinion, if you just a, that's pretty light. But I would never wear that to the hospital. My Libre, I would never wear that to the hospital. That is a very bold, gorgeous scent. What else wouldn't I wear? Um, oh, my way. I feel like I wouldn't wear that. Actually, let me see. No. Mm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't wear that one. It's a little I can I can see somebody being sensitive to that one because how sweet it is. So I wouldn't wear that one. Um now the ones that I would wear though would be so my Melrose place. I will wear that. Um what was this one? The pink sugar. I will wear that. I actually like to put this on my jacket and on my coat over everything else that I wear. Um, let's see, my Skylar Coconut Cove. I feel like that's a, another very light, good one. That's actually my one of my favorites to wear. Um, vanilla Wood, obviously. I ended up buying this golden sand oil because it's supposed to be similar. For me, I can't, it is similar. Hold on, let me open it again. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a very, um, oh gosh, it's leaking. Look, like this is leaking, but it smells really good. It smells very, very, very similar to the vanilla robe, but no, I feel like this is leaking, y'all. Hold on. Look at, look at my hand. This is leaking for sure. I'm just gonna wipe it on my clothes. Why is that leaking? I do not know. And it definitely left a ring in my little perfume stand. I'm gonna have to check into that in a little bit. But um, yes, I got that from Amazon for like $9. It smells really similar to the Vanilla Woods. What else? uh this one as well this is another one that i like to wear in one of them this one this uh mark jacobs one right here and there's other ones there's other ones i have a few up here i just have to remember and like actually smell them like okay that one would be safe but as far as what i personally like to wear 100 percent is always going to be this as a base so when I like shower up and I put my lotion and stuff on, first of all, I'm a night shower. If I sweat too much, I'll probably rinse my body off and moisturize and stuff in the morning. Other than that, I like to shower the night before because I just have to wake up way too early in the morning to be trying to mess around with showering and stuff like that in the morning. So I would just get up, freshen up a little bit, moisturize, and this is a base. I like to put this on my skin under my uniform. Sometimes I would put some of this on, but not really. It's really un it's not necessary. Um, on top of this, I would pair with either this um, pistachio gelato. So my yum. I would pair it with either that. I would pair it with this, the vanilla, um, my vanilla virtue, um, or my oh juice. Or 
my coconut cove so those are some of my favorites so as far as tomorrow oh and then i put this on my jacket so as far as tomorrow i'm gonna be obviously putting on a base and vanilla woods i'm gonna wear the vanilla woods um that smells so good so that's what i'm wearing for my scents i got my shoes i got my outfit i got my scents obviously got to do my hair in the morning um I'm actually about to change real quick into my clothes that I'm going to be sleeping in. Give me one second. Okay, let me stop playing. Y'all, I just realized I forgot to buy paper towels again. So I only have like one roll of paper towels. Dang, look at that thing. Look at that thing. It's just so pretty. Y'all just have to see it in person. I am doing this because I want to show y'all what I'm talking about when I talk about like my camera and... The way it's looking and stuff like that so um this is the um canon g7x mark ii you've got the flip up cam the flip up um screen here and all that good stuff now um when you are looking at um okay first of all this here this is what i mean by the plastic pieces or the rubbery pieces are coming off of my camera there is a piece, can I, can I, can I finesse this somehow? Okay, if y'all could see back here, there is a rubber piece that's supposed to be here that literally just came off today and it just, hold on, right here. So there's supposed to be a rubber piece right here. So when you hold it, you're holding it like this and that piece came off today. So that's hard. Um, then you have this piece here that is also coming off. So that is also going to be hard. Um, I used to be able to just tuck this right back into there like that, like just get like a flat something and stuff that in there so far, it just hasn't been staying. It just hasn't been staying. Um, and the other thing that I was talking about was, um, hold on, let me try to finesse it again. So down here you have screws so when the camera flips up it flips up and then you can flip this like kind of down like that if you can see that I'm trying to so you see this right here there is a little piece here yeah, just so you know, I'm doing this so unnecessarily because I could just use my phone. Anyway, there's a little piece back here and that screw has a habit of coming loose with these cameras. So these cameras are really viral right now. These cameras are really viral right now, but I suggest you guys look into that or if this is a camera that you're trying to get. Um, buy those extra screws and that little screwdriver because in the long run you're going to need it um, i'm about to go ahead and go downstairs though <clears throat> gotta pack my bag for tomorrow and i feel like i made a video showing you guys what i put in my rt bag actually let me turn off these lights and stuff <sighs> sam because sam likes to get left in the room I hate when she get left in the room. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking crap now. I feel like I made a video showing you guys my RT bag and what's in there, but pretty much it's a majority of this. So we are over here in the kitchen. Let's sit you up here. I'm gonna fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. This camera can't afford to go through anything else. Um, so that's still so good. You know what? I'm putting it in the fridge. I'm drinking that later. So um, So that is my chicken. I'm gonna have to eat in a little bit. 
But what I bought is I got some, um, I got some lemongrass. I got these cut up um, limes. Now here's the thing. The reason I bought these already cut up for the convenience and the fact that they were already cut up because of um, make, making my water, I would have to cut these up anyway. But since I saw them already cut up, I just grabbed them. So I grabbed some oranges, I grabbed some lemon, I have some lime and some lemongrass so I can, here she go. Y'all, Sam has a nemesis that I feed and he comes by the door and Sam acts a freaking fool. So obviously you can hear her over here. About to fight like her life depended on it. Jesus. Sam, can we not do this today? Can we not do this today? Sam. Is it close? Is it right there? Y'all, let's see what she's on about. Which one is it? This one? Let's see who it is. <laughs> There's her nemesis. Y'all, his face is really cute. He is a very cute cat. He's huge. And look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> And Sam hates him. She hates him. And this your nemesis? Well, baby, I'm gonna go and give him some food because you don't eat this food anyway. That's, yeah, I know, I know. Y'all, she hates that cat. And y'all probably like, well, how would you sit there and feed a cat that she hates? I have a lot of cat food that she don't eat and somebody's gonna eat it. And honestly, I mean, hey, hey, don't, hey. This is completely unrelated to like me getting ready for work, but <laughs> I bought these friskies because Sam, she likes friskies. What I didn't know is she likes the one with the gravy in it. Like the little, ch with the chunks in the gravy not just a solid puree type of food. So she don't really eat this. So now it's just a waste of food. And I just have a bunch of food that's just sitting here that she don't eat. So when he shows up, I give him some food. She hates me right now. She hates me right now. Chief, don't you dare, don't you dare. One thing about Sam, Sam about that life. So when I do go out there, I have to make sure the door is closed behind me and she's not bolting out because I'm telling you, she will run out there and it's on sight every time, no words, okay? She running out there like, bitch, 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 bitch. And so, <laughs> So when he does come, he's looking at the, he's looking out at the, um, he's looking out at the thing like, is she, is she coming? Is, is she here? Because it's the crazy, is the crazy lady here? So Sam, she just, I don't know. Anyway, back to this. Um, so what I'm going to take to work tomorrow, um, I started getting these. Y'all know I like my Red Bull, but, um, I tried this recently and it was so good. So I bought some of these just to see which other ones that I like. I'm gonna pack one of those. Um, I like these adult Lunchables. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack one of these Hillshire um, Lunchables with the dry Italian salami. Now, just to have something to snack on throughout the day, I did end up getting these as well, these what are these? These are the um, honey roasted almonds. 
Blue Diamond. And uh, as far as fruit goes, I'm taking strawberries and pineapples. So that's everything that I'm gonna be taking tomorrow. And I have a bunch of lunch boxes, which I'm gonna to to take tomorrow. So I am gonna eat oh Jesus. oh Jesus, so much noise. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of that stuff in here. Oh, I almost forgot, I will be taking a ginger ale. We'll be taking the ginger ale as well. Um, so I have my lunch. So I put those in there. I also bought these coffee candies off of Amazon. And y'all, when I say this is the perfect coffee candy, because I've had coffee candy before, but this one specifically, it's like the perfect, um, how do you put it? It's like a perfect cup of coffee with the perfect amount of creamer and it just tastes so good. So I usually get a handful of those in a bag. So that is everything for tomorrow. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the fridge. Now. Now, as far as my water, this is the jug I fill up and drink water out of. Do I always finish it? No, no, I do not. Do I attempt to? I actually do. So what I do is I fill this up with flavored water and I also put some lemon and lime in there. And that's the reason I ended up getting these. I'm just gonna put the slices in there along with a few orange slices and the lemon water. And then I'm gonna refrigerate that. And that is what I try to drink um, throughout the day. Now, again, does it always turn out in my favor? No. Am I gonna try my hardest to finish this for the next three days? Yes, I am. So that is about it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. It was probably all over the place, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I do to kind of prepare for work um specifically when i have back-to-back 12-hour -back shifts a lot of it is basically just making sure my area that i have to come home to after a long shift or the places i have to be in is clean and uncluttered for my own mental sanity that way i'm not having to do too much and so i got all that done usually i'll try to do this a day like i don't try to do this the day prior to me having to work I just had a bunch of stuff going on yesterday, so it happened today. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Just take a look and make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what other videos you want to see, the things that you're interested in. And I'm just going to finish up making my water, sit down and study, and relax until I have to go to sleep. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!